Right, so I'm gonna have a go at trying to reset my um, ELV fault counter. Um, I think once the um, stop and start um, operations get up to a certain value, um, it gives you a yellow indication on the dashboard to say um, a fault's about to happen and after a number starts on top of that, it then goes up to red. I'll show you what it displays. Red on there, that was previously yellow. And uh, steering lock fault on here. And no matter what I do, I can't do anything. So I've just plugged into the um, ECU. Grab the laptop. Had a bit of a bit of a rigmarole trying to trying to get the software up and going. Um, There's a couple of key things which really stood out to check. So I've got this USB to um, ODB uh, KCAN cable connected there. Um, you need to make sure that um, it's set to COM port nine. advanced and just set your, set your COM port there. Um, I think the latency timer also needs to be set to one. Right, close that. Just to make sure the um, COM port set correctly in the software. Go to C drive. Um, ED bias. Uh, I think. I think it was. Bin. So look. And then ED bias dot any. Um, that's important. That needs to be set to STD OBD. And I think port needs to be 6801. And on top of that, there's another any file. ODB dot any. Sorry, this is a bit all over the place. I'm doing everything one handed. And there's your COM port set in there, COM port 9. So I'm going to load the software up now. This is ISTA D, I think it is. Sorry about the glare. Let's try and see if I can do some of that. Right, one very important setting, let's full screen that. All right, if you go to the admin and VCI config, you need to make sure you're set to the top one, which is edbias.ini. If you're not, it won't um, it won't connect using the cable, so that's fine, I'll just cancel that. Um, then go to operations. I shall do a readout using the vehicle data down the bottom corner, complete identification, and hopefully it start populating the details. Start scanning the car. I'm going to be completely honest, I've, I've not used this software yet, so um, I don't entirely know my way around it, but um, I've got a rough idea of what I think I need to do.
So let's have a look at vehicle management. Um, I did know what the year of E was under previously, but I, I can't be asked to uh, look it up. So I'm going to just manually search for it and be a bit lazy. ELV. Click search in the bottom corner. Reset the internal ELV fault counter. Happy days, that sounds exactly like what I'm wanting. Um, double click that. The internal ELV fault counter must be reset and a control unit reset performed after replacing electronic steering lock. Continue service function. Click continue. Reset an ELV fault counter and perform a control unit reset. Screen is flashing. ELV internal fault counter was reset, terminal 15 was deactivated on the control unit reset, activate terminal 15. On completion of the service function, read the fault code memory out of the following control unit and work through its required car access system. Service function finished. Continue. Alright, let's see what happens now then. Oh, already. That error appears to have gone. That goes there. Right. I'm going to unplug the keys from the car. I'm going to plug them back in. Oh, steering's come back on. Straight away and start the car. Fucking happy bloody days. <laughs> Good job. All done. Thank you very much.